Uh, so, hello. Um, this past OKR, the academy team, that's uh, me and Adam, have been working on some new HTTP2 labs uh, based on James's new research on the topic. Uh, so the Web Security Academy is basically a free online resource that you can use to learn about uh, vulnerabilities that you can find in websites. So you can bring up a small little sandbox website, uh, which is vulnerable to one little thing, which you can learn to exploit and learn how these vulnerabilities come about. So it's a really useful tool. Um, and basically, uh, we've created six new labs, which are going to be added soon to be released uh, to the Academy. Uh, which are eagerly awaited in, in, in anticipation of James's Black Hat talk uh, three months ago. Uh, so to get an understanding of this, I'm going to first off talk about what HTTP is in general. So when you make a request to a website, your browser sends a request over HTTP uh, to the web server, and it sends you a response. So if you're looking at HTTP 1, I'm going to show you a quick example. So let's imagine this is you in a bar. You go up to the barkeeper, and you send a request. So you want uh, the website or beer. They process the request and then sends it back to you. That's fine. It works well. So this, this bar, they've heard about HTTP2. It's meant to be faster than HTTP1, the predecessor. So they want to implement it. The only problem is they don't really want to go and teach their bar keeps how to understand this new protocol. So they go and hire a waiter, or they have a front end which can understand this new protocol. They can understand it and then translate it to HTTP 1 so the bartender can understand what's going on. So now you can send an HTTP 2 request to the waiter. The waiter will translate this to HTTP 1. Whoops. Uh, the barkeep will process your order, give that to the waiter, and then the waiter forwards it back to you. So it basically looks like the website supports HTTP 2. The problem happens, though, when the, there's an opportunity for misunderstanding between the front end and the back end. So let's say you notice that when translating from HTTP2 to HTTP1, uh, something can go wrong. So you decide to send a really messy request to the waiter, like you want lots of sides, lots of substitutions. The waiter, he takes that request and tries to tell the bartender what you want. The bartender, he gets a, a little bit confused by this request. So he sees the first thing there, beer, gives that to the waiter, and the waiter's like, all right, sure, and then gives that back to you. So then this other patron of the bar comes along and makes a request to the waiter. The waiter forwards that onto the bartender, but the bartender, he's a, he's a bit muddled at the moment. So he just sees what's in front of him from your last request, because he's still, he's still trying to deal with that. So he just hands that to the waiter. The waiter's like, all right, sure, and gives that to Elon. Elon asks for beer, unfortunately. So he's not very happy with what he got back. Uh, so this is basically um, how HTTP vulnerabilities can come along. You can essentially smuggle a request and confuse the back end in a way that they'll serve the wrong request to the, or the wrong responses to the wrong people, essentially. So the Academy Labs originally supported well, they, they only supported HTTP 1 previously. HTTP 2, I'm not going to go into the details, but it's a very complica complicated protocol to implement, or, or support, rather. So in order to support it, we looked at 
some third party support uh, like Apache and Netty that we could use instead of implementing it ourselves. The only problem with that is they're meant to be secure by default, meant to be, and they're not easily configurable in a way that we could emulate the vulnerabilities that we wanted to. But thankfully, the pro team were kind enough to use Burp's HTTP2 stack to, have, to create a little library for us that we could use to support the protocol. And after we got that and a lot of back and forthing trying to get the, the labs working, we've finally got the six labs ready and they should be released um, relatively soon. Uh, so to give you a, a little taste, I'm going to play you a clip of me solving one of the labs. Uh, in this website, there's an admin of the site that goes there that tries to log in every so often. And we can confuse the website in a way that will send the response to their login to us. So we can steal their login and then delete one of the users of the site. This is what hacking really looks like. <laughs> 